Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about negative exponents. We're going to use our negative exponents worksheet to show you a couple example problems. Here is the first problem in our negative exponents worksheet. We are given 5 to the negative 9th. Now, in order to simplify each expression with a negative exponent, you have to make the exponent positive. So in the case of number 1, this exponent here of negative 9 needs to be turned into a positive 9. The way you make this exponent positive is that you have to flip it onto the other side of the fraction bar. That might not make any sense at first, but you have to remember that all whole numbers are written over 1. So 5 to the negative 9th actually has a 1 or is being divided by 1 underneath of it, even though we don't write it every single time. In order to make this exponent positive, you have to take your term here, which is 5 to the negative 9th, and you have to move the entire thing to the bottom of the fraction bar. After you do that, the exponent will become positive. So we take 5 to the negative 9th. We can write our fraction bar if we want. It becomes 5. You keep the base, and then you make the exponent positive. So it be 5 to the positive 9th. Our term on top is gone, but we have to include a placeholder. The placeholder we're going to use is the number 1 because 1 divided by 5 to the 9th doesn't change the actual value of the term. This will be our answer. Moving on to number 3, we have 1 over 7 to the negative 20th. Now the same process we used in number 1 also works in number 3, except instead of moving our term to the bottom like we did, our term is already in the bottom. So we're going to move it to the top. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make the exponent positive. So this negative 20 needs to turn into a positive 20. So we're going to take our term 7 to the negative 20th and we're going to move it to the top of this term here and to the top of the fraction bar. So it will become 7 to the positive 20th. So anytime you flip a number or a term over the fraction bar, sign on the exponent changes. So now our negative 20 becomes positive. And then on bottom, we have to use a placeholder to keep the number in correct numerical terms. And we're going to use 1. Now 7 to the 20th power divided by 1 is just 7 to the 20th power. And that's our answer. The last example we're going to do is a little bit trickier. We're given x to the negative third divided by x to the fourth. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of this negative 3. We have to make it positive. So just like in the other examples, the way you do that is you flip it over the fraction bar. So we will write x to the fourth because it's on the bottom, so it stays on the bottom. We don't change anything about that. We just moved it over. And now we have also x to the positive third, which now has been moved to the bottom. So we took our term here, we moved the whole thing to the bottom, and we rewrote it right next to x to the fourth. Now on top, we have to use 1 as a placeholder. The next step is we have to simplify x to the fourth times x to the third. When we do that, we're just going to multiply them together. And you will remember that when you multiply terms with exponents, you add the exponents. So we'll, do, we'll keep the base of x, and then we'll do 4 plus 3, which is 7. And 1 over x to the positive 7th is our solution. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.